Hey guys, welcome back to Life of Megan and Liz. So there's a lot of conversation about the Dyson Airwrap going on right now, and I absolutely love mine. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the tricks I've learned with it. This is like more for beginners, like if you just got one for Christmas or you decided to make the investment. And again, I wanna start this off by saying like, this is an investment. <laughs> um, you know, it's not cheap, but in my opinion, I think it's really worth it. It comes with everything you'll ever need. It's got a hair dryer, straightening brushes and curling iron tools and a blowout brush. So it's really a bunch of hair tools in one, which for how it's priced, that makes sense. Also, it's just Dyson because Dyson is just like an elite brand. <laughs> so for my hair type personally, when it comes to going from damp to styled, this product only works if I'm straightening. So today I'm gonna show how I use it because my hair type, like this is, I slept on it. It's so straight. It doesn't hold curl no matter what, even if it's, if it's going from damp to curled, like it will fall out no matter what. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use the curling part because this is like the most informative and like the most I've learned about. Uh, but I will not be starting with damp hair, but if your hair holds curl, this shouldn't be a problem to start with damp hair. So the straightening part is pretty much just like self-explanatory. You know, you put, you've got this hair dryer attachment. Um, I blow dry it until it's like mostly dry. Um, just slightly damp and then this is my favorite attachment. This makes it really really straight and then I just you know brush it through until it's dry. It looks great and then I use this little roller brush to roll my bangs like so it gives me a nice swoosh effect. So that's how I do it straight. But for the curl obviously I don't need this attachment but I do love this attachment because a Dyson hair dryer is just unparalleled. So first I'm going to start off. Um, I prefer the bigger barrel so there's two different sizes. There's like this skinny one and the bigger one, but I just like the bigger barrels on my hair. So this is the lesson that I learned. I didn't know this at first. When you put it on, it's really easy, it just clicks right in. So it's based on the way the arrows go. So like the arrows are pointing this way. So that means you want to curl your curls obviously away from your face. So this one is for this side. And then I, when I do my hair, I literally like to put like this one on this side of me, and then this one when I change it out on this side so I don't get them confused. And then you'll see, see how the arrows now are going this way? So this one's for this side of my hair. Okay, so I wanted to start with it like super wild in so you guys can see like what it does. So I've been favoring like a middle part these days just on like my haircut. So we're gonna get it as close as we can. And you'll see, see like these are the these are the bang part that I use, the layer part that I use the roller tool on, but I do that last. Okay, so as you can see, like this is like just pretty, pretty messy. Um, but I, I am, I've decided I'm gonna order the longer barrels because I do have such long hair, but the shorter barrels have not inhibited me from being able to use the curling section. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that because it's kind of like a hack too. Like you don't need them, but I'm sure it's easier. So I'm gonna section off my hair. Usually I have to do mine in three separate sections. Um, so I'll like I'll just show you guys how I do like one by one. I'll do probably two and then um, just time lapse the rest of it. So I'm gonna start with this side. Now here's the hack. Okay. So when you turn it on, well first make sure the heat's all the way up and the fan's all the way up. When you turn it on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just move it back and forth towards my my head. Um, that's how I make sure I get all of the hair. And also another trick I'll show you, I'll do it slowly if I can, is when you hold up the hair for it to catch, it's literally like you have to hold this here and it just like, you hold it right below the base of it and it just like wraps it up. And Liz was, Liz was like, there's everything in me feels like this is wrong because like the feeling of it almost is like if your hair got stuck in something but it doesn't hurt like it's that same sensation of like oh my gosh my hair it's like getting taken away from me um but you'll get used to it and the final hack um i'm gonna show you guys is when at the end when you hold it you switch the temperature to cold and i like to hold it for like five six seconds because that sets the curl and helps it last longer so I'm gonna show you guys 
I'll um, try and it's it's hard because this is gonna make sound, but I'll do it as slow as I can. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first curl. And the cold, guys, is like literally the trick. Like it changes the game. And that's why I like it so much better than a curling iron, a normal curling iron, because you can't do that with a normal curling iron. And the second the heat comes off of it, it just falls. But look at that curl. She is pretty. So yeah, as you can see, like the motion of it when it sucks it in is like so weird, but it's like a habit just like, getting used to any new hair accessory like tool. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go, make sure you flip it back to heat. I'm just gonna go through and do like this whole layer and um, I'll come back and start the second. I'll walk you guys through it and then the top and then I'll come back and do this bad boy. Can't even speak without a fight. Guess we got nothing to say now. Nothing new to talk about. Gotta go way back. Sorry, I had to get a mirror because the phone lighting was just like wasn't working for me. So we're gonna continue on now. Didn't like with strangers. I don't wanna know how the weather is, how your mother's been. I know all that. Tell me something more about your day. Tell me we're okay. Cause I don't know that words we never say keep getting in the way. We could be alright. Secrets over a bottle of wine Now I'm just lucky If I can get you to look me in the eyes Not ready to give it up Still wanna believe in us Okay, so I made sure that I switched the barrels out and I did this bottom layer as well. Um, but again, key, don't forget to switch the barrels because even I just caught myself and I almost forgot to switch them, so. Now we're gonna go to the next layer. Now this part gets kind of tricky for me because my bangs kind of get in the way. Since I already have this one on, just attach it. I'm gonna stick on this side. is done on this side and again I'm gonna switch the barrels and this thing gets hot so use the top another uh thing I learned <laughs> So now I have the two layers done. I might have missed a few pieces, but I'll find them as I go. Uh, so now we're gonna do the top layer. It's kind of a big top layer, but. Why did I let you in? You're my love, my sin. Tell me why. Would I jump back in, risk it all again, yeah Me and my broken pieces, I'm scared to pick them up Will they fit back together when all is said and done? And if I'm being honest, this kind of mess ain't fun I forgot the fire, how to keep the flame alive 
Okay, so we are done with the curling section. As you can see, like, this is my favorite part about the air wrap. It's like really, really voluminous. Um, they're just really pretty curls. It looks like you got a blowout, which is, you know, I guess the whole point. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch out now for my bangs, which this is also really good, this attachment. Um, you wanna add more volume to your straight hair, which I've done before too. Um, so yeah, this is like the easiest, quickest part. So I'm just gonna make sure it's on full heat. Grab my front layer pieces here. And it's just, well, number one, I learned this too, is make sure you're going behind it like this and that when you pull it down, you go out. So like, I'm gonna do this way for this side and this way for the other side. So I'll just show y'all. See how it creates that nice swoop effect? That's what I'm going for. I'm gonna do it one more time. Now I like to just like run my fingers through it, not necessarily brush it. And voila, that is the final look. Uh, this is how I've been doing my hair most days. Um, if I do, I definitely use the roller brush attachment almost like every single day. Um, but these curls like will last me three days now, which is amazing. And again, like it just like looks very elevated, like better than a traditional curling iron in my opinion. So I'm gonna link uh, the Dyson Airwrap below as well as I found on Nordstrom Rack, you can actually buy fully refurbished Dyson Airwraps. Um, so they're gonna run you a little bit less, but I guess that's just up to you if you're like fine using somebody else's old Dyson Airwrap, maybe that, you know, just wasn't for them. Like I personally would probably buy a refurbished one. Like I'm sure it's fine, like it's refurbished. Also, if you already have one or got one for Christmas, um, they have this amazing setup on Amazon that you can put in your bathroom that literally hangs all of the attachments and the Dyson Airwrap itself up so you don't have to have this case. And I will say, I think that's my least favorite part about the Dyson Airwrap, which is so weird. Um, and it's the case because it's really hard to travel with. Uh, the case itself is beautiful, don't get me wrong. Like leather, beautiful, but like, I wish they put like a handle or something on it so that I could like carry it like a makeup bag, but it's definitely like a weird thing to travel with. So I'm gonna be on the lookout if I find any sort of traveling case for it. I will also link it below because I definitely need one of those as well. Happy 2021 guys. I'm excited for this year. Liz and I are so excited for this year and wishing you a happy new year and a healthy new year. And I'll see you guys next time.